in the seventh step we are going to learn about association and navigation property in access o data association is used to define the relationship between two entities based on a particular column and the multiplicity between both the entities so now let's define an association between two entities that is the customers table and orders table in our access o data so for that let's open our hana studio and in here let us define two entities they are customers and orders change the alias name because you can't use a same alias for two different times so for that let us change the alias name to customers association and in for the orders table let us do the same thing so now let's create an association between customers table and orders table for that type association followed by the association name in here i am going to give customers underscore orders as a association name and next let's define what is the principal entity so for that type principal followed by the principal entity name and define the association principal followed by the principal name within the brackets let us define customer id which is a key field and you have to define the multiplicity so for that i am going to give multiplicity as 1 and i am going to define the dependent entity by giving a dependent keyword followed by the dependent entity name in here it is orders association within the braces we are going to give the key customer id and let us define the multiplicity for the dependent entity so i am going to give star as a dependent multiplicity save it so in here we have to define the multiplicity within a double quotes for both principal and dependent entities so now we have created the association between the customers and orders table so at the next step let us activate the access o data so it's successfully activated and in the next step let us define the navigation property which is from the customers table to the orders table so for that what we are going to do is within the customers table we are going to write navigate within the brackets you have to define the association name followed by alias name so in here i will give customer orders followed by from principal so now we have defined the navigation property and we are going to activate this access o data file so it successfully activated to check the association and navigation properties let us go to our browser 
and go to your root URL log into the system if it is required and select orders association in here you can find the customers association entity set and orders association entity sets in here we have defined the navigation property from the customer association to order association so for that let us select the customer association and paste it in our URL so in here you are going to find all the records from the customers table so now we are going to select a single entity from this entity set so for that copy customer association ANATR in here and paste it in your URL so now you have selected a single record from the customers table and to navigate from this customers table to the orders table copy the customer association followed by the entity key followed by the customer orders and paste it in your URL and press on enter.